everyone, it's Melinda Farrell here for Sporting News Australia. Uh, we're in the car on the way back. I'm here with Izzy Westbury, the great Izzy Westbury who's here commentating and my roommate. We have had the first momentous day uh, of the first test here between uh, Pakistan and Australia. And well, it was Pakistan's day in every sense of the word, really. Uh, Izzy, Australia ended up doing what we kind of thought they might, went with three quicks, one spinner. Uh, Pakistan went with just two quicks in the end. Maybe they made had a little bit of a gamble with the selection and they won the toss and it worked out for them. Yeah, I think Australia might be ruining having not decided to pick an extra specialist spinner. And maybe Pakistan will be thinking, why did we chuck our, our team full of batters? Because in Amar Haq, maiden century, Australia back after 24 years, pretty cool. Yeah, pretty cool, isn't it? Uh, in Amar Haq, well, great story, of course. Uh, he's he's had his difficulties. He's had his problems with the fans. He hasn't always had a great relationship with them. He's had to carry the tag of the the weight of his surname, of course, nephew of the great Inzamam Al Haq. But uh, he carried it pretty well today. His first test on home soil, uh, just his 12th test overall. But uh, he did exactly what the Australians were talking about all week in that he rode the tempo of the day, really, didn't he? Yeah, he did. I mean, it was, if you look back across the day, the 85 over 245 was pretty slow going overall. But he chose his moments. He wasn't afraid to skip down the track and bung Nathan Lyon over his head. I thought it was really quite fun to watch. It didn't feel like a slow day. It mm -hmm. felt in control but it felt as though he just got the better of them and, and chose his moments wisely. Yeah, he did. I, I mean, it was quite bizarre anyway. The only wicket that we saw fall today uh, was that of Abdullah Shafiq, uh, who really made a meal of it and kind of handed his wicket away, really. Uh, Pat Cummins took a fine catch um, but off Nathan Lyon, but there were hardly any chances, really. There were a couple of balls dropped a little bit short, but there was nothing doing. And that's almost the most demoralising thing for Australia, is that they, they, they picked their front line, they're, they're the best 11, that includes three seamers, and they bowled well. They bowled good line, good length, they were probing that outside edge, but it already went past it, because the flat, the, the, sorry, the deck is flat, <laughs> it is a good one. And I guess I'll just be hoping they can get the bat on it pretty soon. Yeah, who knows? I mean, who knows what, what could happen if the pitch might liven up a little bit as well. There is a little bit of rain around. But overall, it was definitely Pakistan's day, Imam Al-Haq's day, uh, Pakistan in great shape at the end of day one.